Okay, Bethan builds a rectangular sheet pen. Okay, the perimeter fence of the sheet pen is 18 meters long. So here's the picture of it here, and the perimeter, of course, is the outside here. Okay, there's the fencing there. So perimeter fence is the outside of that sheet pen. It's 18 meters long. Now it says it costs her eight, one pound ten for every 0 0.5 meters of fencing used to make the sheet pen. So we can write that down maybe 0 0.5 meters. Okay costs or yeah costs would probably be better one pound ten right and we want to work out what 18 meters will cost so one way we could do this is sort of scale it up and think well if i double this i'll get one meter won't i so that means then you double the cost so half a meter costs one pound ten so that means one meter will cost two pounds twenty and then if i want to get 18 meters I've got a times by 18, haven't I? Okay, so that makes sense. So I need 18 lots of one meter. So I'm going to times the cost by 18. So I'm going to do two pounds 20 by 18. Now, I don't know what that is. Okay, so what I need to do is think about how I could work this out. Two pounds 20, okay, times 18. Okay, what I could do, I could sort of split this up maybe. I could do... Two pounds twenty times ten. Okay, and two pounds twenty times eight. All right, that's one way you could go about it, and then we can add the results together. Two pounds twenty times ten of course would be twenty two pounds. Okay, two pounds twenty times eight. Well, two pounds times eight is going to be sixteen pounds. 20 pence times 8 is going to be £1.60, so that would be make a total of £17.60, okay? We can add them up, we get £39.60. Part 2 then, it says the length of Bethan's sheep pen is 2 times its width. Find the length and width of this sheep pen. Now what I always do, I always draw a little sketch, right? And I think, well, length and width, right? Now, if the perimeter is 18, okay, as it says up there, 18 meters, think about what the length and width would add up to. Think about that. If you think about it, the length and width account for half of the perimeter, because you've got another length here and another width here. So length plus width will add up to 18, won't it? No, it won't. It'll add up to 9. It won't add up to 18. Length and width will add up to 9, half of the perimeter, if that makes sense. Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm adding the length, adding the width together. So I'm at half the perimeter. So it'll add up to 9. So then it says the length of the sheet pen is 2 times its width. So we need to have two numbers, add up to 9, so that the length is 2 times the width. Now you could just have a go, you could try the narrow, and you could think, well, if length is, we take length is 6, width is 3, that adds up to 9, and notice the length is twice the width. So we've got 6 metres here and 3 metres there. Bethan decides to build a new sheet pen. The perimeter fence of the new sheet pen is 16 metres long. The length of the new sheet pen is 3 metres longer than the width. Form an equation and solve it. Okay, well, what I would do again with a sketch. Okay, so the width... What does it say about the length? The length of the new sheet pen is three meters longer than the width. In other words, three meters longer than the width. We need to add three on, yeah? Okay. Because the length is three meters longer than the width. So we've also got a length here of W plus three. We've also got a width here of W. This is form an equation. What we can do, when we work our perimeter, of course, we add these up. So we could add these up, W plus 3 plus W plus W plus 3 plus W, okay? All of them added up will give me the perimeter, which is 16. And then W, 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 which is 4 W. 3 and 3 is 6, is 16. So a little equation has been formed here. And then we solve this equation. 16, take away 6, take it over to the side. So 4 W is equal to 10. And to get W then, you do 10 divided by 4. 
10 divided by 4, where 4 goes into 10 twice, with 2 left over 4, okay, which of course will be 2.5, okay, or 2.5 meters, right? So the width is 2.5 meters, but don't forget that the length is 3 meters longer, so it'll be 5.5 meters.